Sio mkaribishe rais wa Jamhuri ya Kenya wakiwa pamoja na mama Rachel Ruto First Lady of the Republic of Kenya. Karibu sana mheshimiwa rais. Naomba sote tusimame wima sasa. Karibu sana mheshimiwa rais wa Jamhuri ya Kenya. Let us all now be at a standstill. We are going to start with the Kenyan National Anthem, followed by the East African Anthem. The Kenyan National Anthem. With your permission, Your Excellency, I request to remain standing. We'll start with two prayers. Our first prayer will be led by Isaiah Deye, presiding bishop of the Methodist Church in Kenya, and Sheikh Athman Shami. Tutanza na Bishop Deye. As our nation, before we pray, let us be guided by the prayer of uh, St. Francis of Assisi as follows Lord make me an instrument of your peace where there is hatred let me so love where there is injury pardon where there is doubt faith where there is despair hope where there is darkness light and where there is sadness, joy. O oh, Divine Master, grant that I may not so much seek to be consoled, but to console, as to console. To be understood, as to understand. To be loved, as to love. For it is in giving that we receive. It is in pardoning that we are pardoned. It is in dying that we are born to eternal life. Let us pray. Almighty and everlasting God, we come before you on this day of new beginnings with hearts full of your gratitude. As we inaugurate our new Deputy uh, President, Professor Kidure Kindiki, 
we seek your guidance, protection, and the blessings over him and our beloved nation. Lord, we lift up our president and his deputy to you. Grant them your wisdom, knowledge, understanding, courage, and a heart of a servant to lead Kenya with justice and compassion. Surround them with your presence and guide their, um, their every decision for the good of all Kenyans. Lord God, we also bring before you their families to continue supporting them throughout this journey. May they be strengthened, protected, and be filled with your peace. Let, the, uh, let their homes be places of comfort and rest where love and unity prevail. We thank you. We, we pray for the cabinet and all who will serve along, alongside our leaders. May they act with integrity and wisdom, committed to the welfare of our people. Give them hearts to serve selflessly, work together in unity for the progress of Kenya. Lord, we pray that you continue to bless Kenya with peace and prosperity. May our leaders inspire unity and love among our people and help build a nation rooted in justice, truth, and respect for all. We pray for every Kenyan to experience your blessings of peace and opportunities in this land that we love, that we call Kenya. Lord, in this new chapter, may your hand guide us and keep us. May Kenya shine as a beacon of hope and progress under your care. God bless all our leaders. God bless, our, uh, bless Kenyans. God bless Kenya. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, we pray, we pray and believe. Amen. Bismillah, alhamdulillah, salatu wassalamu ala rasulillah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. In the name of Allah, the most gracious, the most merciful, all gratitude and thanks to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to bless our beloved president. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to bless our deputy president designate. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to give them the energy to succeed in their endeavors. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to rain on them these bounties, mercy and blessings. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to continue to protect our president and our deputy president designate and ease their affairs. Moreover, may Allah bless this country, nourish it with his blessings and fill it with peace. We also ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to bless everyone who took part in the success of this event. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to bless our beloved country and our able leaders. Finally, we send salutations to the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. May Allah accept our prayers. Ameen. Naomba tuweze kuketi tafadhali. Your Excellency Dr. William Samoy Ruto, President of the Republic of Kenya and Commander-in-Chief of the Kenya Defense Forces. Your Excellency Mama Rachel Ruto, First Lady of this great nation. Your Excellency Honorable Professor Abraham Kithure Kindiki, Deputy President Designate. Your Excellency Dr. Joyce Gateria Kithure, Spouse to the Deputy President Designate. Your Excellency Honorable Musalia Mudavadi, the Prime Cabinet Secretary. Honorable Moses Wetangula, Speaker of the National Assembly. Honorable Amazon Kingi, Speaker of the Senate. The Honorable Chief Justice and President of the Supreme Court. The Chief Justice Martha Kome. The Chief of Defense Forces, Honorable the Attorney General, Cabinet Secretaries, Principal Secretaries, Honorable Governors, 
your excellencies, ambassadors, high commissioners, and members of the diplomatic corps, members of parliament, wananchi wote walio hapa na wale wanatazama kutoka Runinga na mahali popote walipo. Your Excellency Sir, with your permission, allow me to now invite the Head of Public Service, Honorable Felix Koske, to proceed with the program. Tumpikie makofi tafadhali akija, Honorable Felix Koske, karibu. the President, Your Excellency, the Deputy President, Signet, Your Excellency, the Prime Cabinet Secretary, the Speakers of both Houses of Parliament, Your Ladyship, the Chief Justice, Your Ladyship, the Deputy Chief Justice, the Honorable Attorney General, all Cabinet Secretaries, all County Governors led by the Chairperson of the Council of Governors, all members of parliament, as led by the majority leaders from both houses, all principal secretaries, chairpersons and members of the constitutional commissions, holders of constitutional and independent offices, the chairperson and CEOs of all state corporations, the diplomatic corps, the clergy, honored guests, distinguished Ladies and gentlemen, Your Excellency, we are convened this morning to witness the swearing-in of the third Deputy President of the Republic of Kenya in accordance with Article 148 of the Constitution. This ceremony marks a new chapter in our constitutional journey as necessitated by the operation of Article 149 of the Constitution. The vacancy in the office of the Deputy President arose on the 17th of October 2024 as a consequence of the Senate's resolution passed on to Article 150 of the Constitution. This resolution was formally notified to the public through Kenya Gazette Notice Number 13400 of 2024. To steer the transition in the office of the Deputy President, he is excellent the President, nominated Honorable Professor Kithure Kindiki EGH for confirmation as the next Deputy President of the Republic through a vote by the National Assembly in accordance with Article 149.1 of the Constitution. The National Assembly confirmed Honorable Kithure Kindiki as Deputy President's designate by an affirmative vote this resolution of the August House was transmitted by the Speaker of the National Assembly to our Ladyship, the Chief Justice, with a copy to His Excellency the President. Subsequently, legal proceedings were initiated, leading to interim orders being issued on the 18th of October 2024, temporarily barring the Deputy President designate from assuming office. On October 20, uh, 31st, 2024, a three-charge bench of the High Court sitting in Nairobi vacated those interim orders, thus paving the way for the Deputy President's designated assumption of office. To facilitate this significant transition, representatives of the three arms of government convened under the auspices of the assumption of the Deputy, Office of the Deputy President Committee as notified through Kenya Gazette Notice Number 14098 of 2024. In carrying out its mandate, and with due regard to the constitutional imperatives and the consequence of the Office of the Deputy President within the Executive, the Assumption of Office Committee resolved to hold the swearing-in ceremony today being Friday, 1st November, in the year of our Lord, 2024. To ensure that this occasion could be observed by all Kenyans, the committee further recommended that in line with Section 12 
of the Assumption of Office uh, of the President Act, the day of this wedding in be designated a public holiday of general observance throughout the Republic of Kenya. Your Excellency, sir, with the constitutional prerequisites for the assumption of the office of the Deputy President, having been fully discharged by the legislature and the executive, we note that Article 148.4 of the Constitution that obligates that, and I quote, the swearing in of the Deputy President elect shall be before the Chief Justice or in the absence of the Chief Justice, the Deputy Chief Justice, and in public. Now, therefore, as the convener of the Assumption of Office of the Deputy President Committee, and with the gracious presence of our leadership, the Chief Justice, it is now my humble duty to commit the remainder of this program to the judiciary. With your Excellency's kind permission, sir, may I now invite the judiciary to lead us into the next phase of these day's proceedings. Your Excellency, sir, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, you are all kindly requested to rise up on your feet for the observance of the official judiciary protocols and formal commencement of the judiciary part of the swearing ceremony. I thank you, Your Excellency. May I request us to be upstanding, to remain upstanding? Uh, Your Excellency the President, uh, Honorable Chief Justice, this is the official swearing-in ceremony of the Deputy President-designate. To commence the swearing-in proceedings, um, I request uh, that the judiciary mace be placed on its position. The mace is being uh, placed on its position by Honorable Sharon Mwayuli, Principal Magistrate in the judiciary. Placing the mace on its position signals that the proceedings have officially commenced. You may kindly take your seats. I now invite Honorable Winfrida Boyani Mokaya, the Chief Registrar of the Judiciary, to take her position at the swearing in arena and to administer the oath of allegiance and the oath of due execution of office uh, of the Deputy President. Welcome, Honorable Deputy Chief, Reg Honorable Chief Registrar. Republic of Kenya and Commander-in-Chief of the Kenya Defense Forces, Dr. William Samuel Ruto, the Chief Justice of the Republic of Kenya, Honorable Justice Martha Kome, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. Before commencing the proceedings, may I request the Honorable Chief Justice to take her position in the arena. Ladies and gentlemen, Article 149.1 of the Constitution of Kenya provides that where a vacancy arises in the office of the Deputy President, the President shall nominate a person to fill the vacancy within 14 days of the vacancy arising, and the National Assembly shall vote on the nomination within 60 days. Vide a special gazette notice, number 13401, dated and published on 18th October 2024, 
the Speaker of the National Assembly notified the public that the National Assembly at its sitting held on Friday, 18th October 2024, voted in favor of the nomination of Professor Kidure Kindiki to fill the vacancy in the office of the Deputy President of the Republic of Kenya. Article 74 of the Constitution provides that before assuming a state office, acting in a state office or performing any functions of a state office, a person shall take and subscribe the oath of affirmation of office in the manner and form prescribed by the third schedule to the Constitution or under an Act of Parliament. Further, Article 148.5 requires that a deputy president assumes office by taking and subscribing to the oath or affirmation of allegiance and the oath or affirmation for the execution of the functions of the office as prescribed in the third schedule to the Constitution. The oaths prescribed in the third schedule to the Constitution are to be taken by the Deputy President before the Chief Justice. May I now call upon the Deputy President designate, Professor Kidure Kindiki, to take his place and take the prescribed oaths. Yes. May I request um, the spouse? May I request the spouse of the deputy president designate to come forward? Mr. Deputy President Designate, I shall commence. I shall commence with the administration of the first oath, which is the oath of allegiance of the Deputy President. Kindly repeat after me. I I, Kithure Kindiki. In full realization of the high calling. In full realization of the high calling. I assume as Deputy President of the Republic of Kenya. I assume as Deputy President of the Republic of Kenya. Do swear, do swear that I will be faithful, that I will be faithful and bear true allegiance to the Republic of Kenya, and bear true allegiance to the Republic of Kenya. That I will obey, that I will obey, preserve, preserve, protect, protect and defend this Constitution of Kenya and defend this Constitution of Kenya as by law established as by law established and all other laws of the Republic and all other laws of the Republic and that I will protect 
and that I will protect and uphold and the, uphold the sovereignty the sovereignty integrity integrity and dignity of the people of Kenya and dignity of the people of Kenya so help me God so help me God Mr. Deputy President Designate, I shall now administer the oath of due execution of office for the Deputy President. Kindly repeat after me. I, I Kithure Kindiki, do swear, do swear that I will always truly that I will always truly and diligently and diligently serve the people of Kenya serve the people of Kenya and the Republic of Kenya and the Republic of Kenya in the office of the Deputy President in the office of the Deputy President of the Republic of Kenya of the Republic of Kenya that I will diligently that I will diligently discharge my duties discharge my duties and perform my functions and perform my functions in the said office in the said office to the best of my judgment to the best of my judgment that I will at all times that I will at all times when so required when so required faithfully and truly give my counsel faithfully and truly give my counsel and advice and advice to the president of the republic of kenya to the president of the republic of kenya that i will do justice that i will do justice to all without fear to all without fear favor favor affection affection or ill will or ill will and that i will not directly and that I will not directly or indirectly or indirectly reveal such matters reveal such matters as shall come to my knowledge as shall come to my knowledge in the discharge of my duties in the discharge of my duties and committed to my secrecy and committed to my secrecy so help me God so help me God Is now proceeding to the ceremonial table to append his signature to the two oaths that is the oath of allegiance and the oath of execution of office of the deputy president the deputy president will be guided uh, on signing the two oaths by the attorney general the, his excellency the deputy president will be signing three copies of each oath the first set of oaths will be retained by his excellency the deputy president as a solemn reminder of the commitment, he has, the commitment he has made here today. The second set will be here handed over to the head of public service for custody. And the third set uh, will be retained by the judiciary. Uh, the oath of allegiance, uh, ladies and gentlemen, is an oath that uh, His Excellency the Deputy President will be faithful and will bear true allegiance to the Republic of Kenya and that he will also protect and defend the Constitution of Kenya. The second oath, uh, His Excellency the Deputy President has um, committed uh, to execute his duties diligently and perform his functions according to the law. The Chief Registrar will now transmit the oath to the Honorable Chief Justice, who will also append her signature uh, to, the three, um, to the two oaths 
three copies each. Her Ladyship, the Chief Justice, will be countersigning against uh, the signature by His Excellency, the Deputy President. Once the Chief Justice has appended her signature, the seal of the Chief Justice will be affixed on each of the oaths by the court officials. May I kindly invite uh, the Honorable uh, Chief Justice and His Excellency the Deputy President to stand in front of the maze for presentation of the oath to the public. The Honorable Chief Registrar will be handing over the oath uh, to the Honorable Chief Justice who will in turn hand them to His Excellency the Deputy President. May I May I uh, ask His Excellency the Deputy President and Her Ladyship uh, the Chief Justice uh, to take their seats as they hand over the oath to the Honorable Attorney General. May I call upon the Head of Public, Your Excellency, uh, you may take your seat. Honorable Chief Justice, please, uh, you may take your seat. At this point, I wish to call upon the Head of Public Service to receive the oaths from the Chief Registrar for safe custody. As I mentioned earlier, one copy will be handed over to His Excellency the Deputy President, another will be retained by the Judiciary, and one copy will be handed over to the Head of Public Service for safe custody. Thank you. At this point, um, at this point of the program, may I invite His Excellency the President to hand over a ceremonial copy of the Constitution of Kenya to His Excellency uh, the Deputy President, Professor Kikureki Ndiki, the Deputy President of the Republic of Kenya. Your Excellency. His Excellency the President is handing over the Constitution to His Excellency the Deputy President. Your, 
Your Excellencies, if you could remain on stage for a brief photo session uh, to commemorate this event. The first photo will feature His Excellency the President and His Excellency the Deputy President of the Republic of Kenya. Thank you. May I invite, uh, thank you. May I now invite Her Ladyship the Chief Justice to join in the second photo. We may take our seats. We may take our seats for the sake of the cameras behind you. And I invite you. Uh, our seats, please. the Honourable Chief Registrar and the Honourable Attorney General to join in the next photo. All right. For the second last photo, I kindly request Her Excellency the Spouse of the Deputy President, Dr. Joyce Kithure, and Her Excellency the First Lady, Rachel Ruto, to join in the fourth photo, photo with the request that the Honorable Chief Justice remains in this photo. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. For the final photo, we have His Excellency the President, his Excellency the Deputy President, uh, the first, His Her Excellency the First Lady, and Her Excellency the Spouse of the Deputy President. I request the Chief Justice to please uh, take her seat. Thank you, Honorable Chief Justice. Thank you, Your Excellencies. You may now uh, resume your seats. I also request uh, the Honorable Chief Justice, the Honorable Chief Registrar, and the Honorable Attorney General to also resume their seats. Ladies and gentlemen, as we come to the end of our ceremony, I would like to remain to ask us to remain upstanding for the lowering of the mace. This marks the end of the swearing in segment of the program. I wish now to hand over to the Master of Ceremony to continue with the rest of the program. I thank you. To pick your Judiciary Makofi Tafadhali for a job well done. Let's also take this opportunity to uh, give a warm, warm round of applause to the Deputy President, Professor Kithure Kindiki. To pick your Makofi Tafadhali. Your Excellency, sir, we'll have a short interlude of music before we proceed to the next part of the program. I'll request that you take our seats as we will have now the State House Choir give us a song before we proceed to the next part of the program. State House Choir, Juan Genuenu. Nakama upana bendera Sisi ni wa Kenya daima Dio huo wimbo Kenya Kenya bendera Kenya 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 
As patriots of this country, this is a song we can all participate. Maybe in Kenya, Shangili yetu afadhali asanteni sana State House Choir kwa huyo wimbo naomba tuweze kuketi Mheshimiwa Rais sasa naomba unikubalie ni mwalike His Excellency the Prime Cabinet Secretary Honorable Musalia Mudavadi to make his remarks Tumpigie makofi tafadhali akija katika jukwaa Your Excellency, the President of the Republic of Kenya, Honorable William Samoy Ruto, Your Excellency, the First Lady, Madam Rachel Ruto, Your Excellency, the Deputy President of the Republic of Kenya, Professor Kindiki Kiture, Your Excellency, Madam Joyce Kiture. The Honorable Chief Justice, the Speaker of the National Assembly and the Speaker of the Senate, leaders of our forces, members of Cabinet, the Governor of Nairobi, members of the Legislature, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, members of the Diplomatic Corps present, Nawa Kenya Wote Hamujambo. Amujambo, Your Excellency, let me take this opportunity to be among the first to congratulate Professor Kindiki Kiture on his elevation to the position of Deputy President of the Republic of Kenya. He has now shed off the word designate. He is now substantive, and we all congratulate you and your family for this very honorable position that His Excellency the President of the Republic of Kenya has assigned you. And we wish you God's speed, God's help, good health, and all the wisdom 
so that you can discharge your responsibilities with excellence. Your Excellency, we are gathered here on a bright morning, bright sunny morning. And I just want to draw the symbolism of where we are. We are on the grounds of KICC, Kenyatta International Conference Center grounds. On my right is the judiciary. On my left is the legislature. In front of me is the symbol of the capital. And behind us is the symbolism of the executive. Your Excellency, we stand here proudly as a nation to actually show and to prove to the Kenyans who ushered in the 2010 Constitution with a 70 percent majority and to the international community that our institutions work. I would like to repeat that, that our institutions work. There may be challenges, the wheels may take a little longer to turn, but at the end of the day, the legislature has done its bit, the judiciary has done its bit, everybody gets a chance to be heard if they are grieved, and finally, the executive can move on. We are a country that respects the rule of law. Finally, Your Excellency, I think it is important for us to reflect on the journey ahead. We have had a tumultuous two years and there are moments that Kenyans have accused us of having removed our eyes off the ball. This is a moment, a great moment, for us to retrace our steps, get together, have a unity of purpose, have the resolve and the will and to focus so that we can deliver for the Kenyan people as they requested us to do when they cast their vote two years ago. In Professor Kindiki, we see a lot of virtue, but perhaps the one I may want to single out is the virtue of humility. and simplicity. He does not walk around with airs around him. This is a very important virtue. If as a nation we can embrace humility, we will go far. If you disregard humility, it can be very expensive. So ladies and gentlemen, it is now my honor to ask the Deputy President of the Republic of Kenya, Professor Kiture Kindiki, to come forward and make his remarks and thereafter invite His Excellency the President to speak to us. Makofi Tafadali. Your Excellency, President William Ruto. Your Excellency, First Lady Mama Rachel Ruto. All protocols as already established, I write on them. 
no arms of government or agencies, and the representations of foreign and friendly countries present. Your Excellency, sir, words fail me to explain how grateful I am today. I'll say that I am grateful to Almighty God who orders the steps and the affairs of every human being on earth. I am grateful to you, sir, for the honor you have given me to serve under you. Your Excellency, I've been your political student for nearly 20 years now, and nothing in the political space has helped me to pick up lessons more than the years that I have worked and served around you in various capacities. Therefore, Your Excellency, I'm grateful for the honor which you have given me. I promise you, before this congregation and before God, that I will not let you down for the privilege you have given me. Your Excellency, sir, in the same breath of gratitude, I am grateful to all the institutions who have facilitated this process, including the ceremony we are having today. And I want to uh, agree with what my elder brother, His Excellency Musale Mutabadi, has said. Whatever has happened in the last few weeks, and indeed in the recent past, is a testament of the maturity of our democracy and is a testament that our institutions work. Your Excellency, sir, allow me, having thanked you, also to thank the very many people whom I have had an opportunity to learn from them. I may not be enumerate all of them, but I've had the privilege of learning from so many great people. And even as we celebrate our constitution and our democracy, I pay tribute to those who purposed to fight for and defend the establishment of our country and our constitutional order. I am grateful to those who are responsible for creating the Kenya that we live in today, in the past and in the present. I am grateful to those who fought for this constitution, and I am grateful to all heroes of our country in the past and in the present. Your Excellency, I am grateful to this country for raising me, and I have had so many people to help me grow into who I am today. And therefore, as I discharge the burden that you have placed me, Your Excellency, the burden you have placed on my shoulders, I am grateful that I, I will discharge that burden with the benefits of having grown and continuing to grow under the feet of not just my father and mother who gave birth to me, but the many elders of their generation who helped me to shape and make me what I am today over time. I am truly grateful. Those who taught me in the formal and the informal setup. Your Excellency, I'm grateful to my family. With your permission, I want to pay tribute to four people 
who have made huge sacrifices, especially in the 14 years, 15 years or so I have been in politics. Before then, I had spent a decade in academia, and of course I'm also grateful to the professors and the colleagues with whom we worked with. But allow me, Your Excellency, today, on a moment like this one, to thank my wonderful wife, Joyce Kidure, a woman who has sacrificed a professional in our own right, but who has sacrificed to raise our three children, Imani, Neema, and Wende. Many, many, many days and nights of my absence as I serve the country in different roles. I am very grateful to my wife and the children for being the foundation and providing the support that I have always required as I navigate this difficult space of public service. Having finished with gratitude, Your Excellency, I'll say two things before I invite you. The first is to affirm that throughout my journey, culminating with this moment, I have come to believe that Kenya is the country of possibility. Your Excellency, for a person such as I to stand here today and take oath of the office of the Deputy President, it can only happen in Kenya. Your Excellency, I was born 52 years ago in one of the remotest parts of Kenya. But because Kenya is the land and the homeland of possibilities, today I Perhaps the most unlikely person is standing here today because Kenya has made it possible for anybody to become anything in this country. I don't take it for granted. And therefore, Your Excellency, as you lead us into the transformation of our country in the years ahead, I want to commit to support and assist you, together with the other colleagues in government, to realize a Kenya that has even greater opportunities, a more inclusive Kenya, a more democratic Kenya, and a more transformed Kenya. Your Excellency, I'm grateful because of the opportunity that Kenya provides for anyone to aspire to be anything. And therefore, there is no reason going forward why any person from anywhere, from whatever community, creed, religion, should not aspire to become anything in our country. Because I, have, I am a testament that Kenya is the homeland of possibilities. Finally, Your Excellency, I have reflected on the words of the oath of office I've taken, both the oath of allegiance and also the oath for due execution of the functions of the office of the Deputy President. And in that regard, I want to commit to you, as I end my remarks, I want to commit to you 
before this congregation and before the Almighty God, who is acknowledged in the Constitution, that I will serve under you and provide you with the assistance and support you require to take this country to the next level. I commit, I will be loyal and faithful. I will try the best of my ability to work hard together with the other colleagues to lighten the burden that you carry on your shoulders, Your Excellency. And therefore, I think for me today is, if I may say so, a day when I have received the highest honor yet of my life, and I don't take that for granted. I want to pray that uh, God will give me wisdom to do what I must, and to the colleagues whom we have worked with and will continue to work with, I want to provide, I want to say that I'll provide continuity so that we can be able to all work together and deliver for this country. I forgot, Your Excellency, to thank when you gave me the task the last two years of serving in the Ministry of Interior. There are wonderful people whom I have worked with, Ngao, the police, the prisons, immigration, and all the departments and agencies in the Ministry of Interior. The little successes that we could have achieved, I attribute those successes to my colleagues. If there have been a few challenges, I take responsibility for those challenges. Your Excellency, with those many remarks, thank you very much for giving this privilege. And I now want to request that we be upstanding as we invite His Excellency President William Ruto to come and address us. Moja, Mili, Tatu, Ingine. Thank you very much. Your Excellency, Abraham, Kidure, Kindiki, Deputy President of the Republic of Kenya. Excellencies, Mr. Speaker of the National Assembly, Mr. Speaker of the Senate, our sister, your leadership, the Chief Justice of the Republic of Kenya, members of the judiciary, members of the executive, members of the legislature, Fellow Kenyans, Hamjambo, Hamjambo Tena, Bwana Yesu Asifiwe, Asalamu Alaikum, Ebu Munisalimia Hivyo Ewani Nione Ndugu wa Kenya. I am proud to witness the swearing in of the Honorable. Abraham Professor Kidure Kindiki as the third Deputy President of the Republic of Kenya under the 2010 Constitution. I know him as a dedicated professional whose commitment to excellence has helped us overcome daunting challenges and as a tireless public servant on the path of national leadership. Abraham is also a patriot whose dedication to cohesion, national unity, 
and inclusivity is beyond reproach. An effective champion of peace and stability. And across every part of our country and a loyal steward of our bottom-up economic transformation agenda whom together with many others we crafted to take our country to the next level. Over the past two decades, I have had the privilege to witness Professor Kindiki's work as a professor, litigation lawyer, consulting attorney, senator representing the Rakanidi, majority leader of the Senate, deputy speaker of the Senate, the most recently as cabinet secretary. I can confirm that in all these roles, he has demonstrated exceptional dedication, high competence and professionalism, and consistently delivered results beyond expectations. Professor Kindiki is a highly qualified and outstanding scholar, advocate and public servant, whose career has been defined by exemplary achievements which demonstrate his vision for positive change and commitment to high standards of efficiency in the performance of his duties. At this stage of the implementation cycle of our national transformation agenda, the people of Kenya require a patriotic public servant and a consummate champion of our constitutional dispensation, our broad-based national governance framework, and the bottom-up economic transformation agenda to support the cabinet and the presidency in delivering in full and on time. This moment calls for an individual who takes pride in a job well done in, and is humble enough to be a loyal servant of the people and who is selfless enough to reach out and mobilize the entirety of government towards delivering for Kenya. Experienced enough to understand the importance of engaging all sectors of our economy to drive transformation and committed enough to serve professionally with loyalty and most importantly with integrity. I am delighted to affirm that our coalition and indeed our nation is blessed with many professionals who meet all these criteria. Among them, Abraham Keture Kindiki stands out for his exceptional qualifications, extensive experience, and wide-ranging accomplishments. I am honored that he is available. He has told me he is ready, and I know he is willing to serve as my deputy. Professor, my young brother, let me call you Abraham K. or Abra K. Welcome to the service of this great nation, Kenya. And let me say this. I have heard you clearly when you took your oath of office and the oath for the due execution of your responsibilities as Deputy President. You have said two fundamental things in your oath. Kenyans were listening. I too was listening. You said that you will serve the people of Kenya and the Republic of Kenya. Abrake, please, serve the people of Kenya and the Republic of Kenya. As I told our principal secretaries, as I told our cabinet secretaries, and as I tell every public servant who has a responsibility, who has a duty, who has the honor to serve our nation, let us serve the people of Kenya and the Republic of Kenya. We are not here to serve ourselves or our families 
or our communities, or our regions, or our villages. We are here to serve the Republic of Kenya and the people of Kenya. The second thing that you have said in your oath, I said in my oath, I listened to principal secretaries and cabinet secretaries and others. You have said you will serve without fear, without favor, without affection, and without ill will. My brother Abrake, I listened to you. The people of Kenya were listening to you. Serve without bias, without ill will, without favor, without affection, and without fear. So that together, the people of Kenya can know that their public servants, all of us, elected, appointed, in different categories, shall know that we have one nation, one country, one people, and we are called upon by the Constitution of Kenya to serve them without bias, without fear, without favor. And let me undertake in this very historic national ceremony to the people of Kenya. And I say this as MCAs listen to me, as members of parliament listen to me, as members of the executive listen to me, those in the judiciary and those in the executive, that the people of Kenya, it doesn't matter. Those who live near our oceans, near our lakes, in our mountains, in our valleys, in our arid and semi-arid areas, they are one people, one great nation called Kenya. And I want to commit, pledge, and undertake that we will serve the people of Kenya equally. And no part of Kenya, no community in Kenya, no section of Kenya, no region of Kenya shall be left behind. We are going to walk together. I say this to our representatives. Every MCA knows that they were never voted by all the people in their ward. Every member of parliament knows the same, that they were never voted by all the people in their constituency. And so does my friends' governors. They know that not everybody in their county voted for them. But they also know that they must serve all the people, whether they voted for them or did not vote for them. Professor, you and me have the honor to serve the people of Kenya. And as I have said before, we will serve the people of Kenya equally, those who voted for us and those who did not vote for us. The government of Kenya equally belongs to all the people of the Republic of Kenya. Let me also say the following, because this is a very important occasion. To underwrite that our judiciary works, that our legislature works, and we will make sure that our executive works and serves the people of Kenya. I know that we've gone through a journey, but in this journey, we have affirmed to both ourselves as the people of Kenya, to our friends, and to the international community, we have affirmed that Kenya is a constitutional democracy founded on the firm foundation of the rule of law. We believe in freedom and we believe in 
making sure that no Kenyan, no Kenyan and no, none of us is left behind. Today we stand here as a people, united, peaceful, because we are a democracy, we, are, we believe in our constitution, we believe in the rule of law, and we are a free people, and we make choices. Let me also say this. To all of us who are public servants, it doesn't matter at what level. To all of us, we are reminded on this very historic day that we serve at the pleasure of the people of Kenya and we serve under the provisions of the law and the constitution of the Republic of Kenya. And that none of us, irrespective of the office we hold, is greater than what our constitution says. We must obey, we must submit to the law and to the constitution because that is what makes us a nation. Let me say this as I conclude. We have made stride as a nation. Today, our savings as a percentage of our GDP is growing. We have changed and we have transformed our education system. Today, we have more teachers. We just announced another 20,000 teachers. We have a new funding model that is student-based, which we are refining to make sure that no child in Kenya is left behind. My dear Professor Kindiki, I need your voice. I need your intellect to help me and to help members of our cabinet to profile the things we are doing, to speak to the things that we are doing. I have almost become a lonely voice in the, exec in the executive, especially in the presidency, speaking about our projects, speaking about our programs, elaborating on what we are doing. You are eloquent, my brother. You are, in you are intelligent, my brother. I am confident that you will do that which I have missed for the last two years. I know you will. We have a huge program on university funding and higher education funding. We have a huge program that today our farmers across Kenya have access to fertilizer. We have a huge program on expanding our irrigation. We have a big program on what we are doing. We need your voice and we need the voice of those of us in the executive to provide leadership and to see to it that indeed we achieve what we wrote into our constitution. Today, as we wrote in our constitution, Kenya power has turned around and today is a profitable uh, company. So is Kenjin because of the stewardship that we have put in place. My brother, our manifesto is elaborate. Our manifesto is transformative. We are implementing it page by page, paragraph by paragraph, chapter by chapter, because we have to transform this great nation and failure is not an option. We must. We have a big program on rural electrification to connect close to 300,000 homes across Kenya. I need your support to the Ministry of Energy who are doing a wonderful job in that exercise. We have a big program on markets across Kenya. We have a big program 
on housing across Kenya. Today, we have 160,000 people working in a housing program. By December, actually next month, we will begin to hand over the first 1,000 houses under our program, under the program that will make ordinary people, Mama Mboga and Boda Boda, pay 3,000 shillings every year and access housing in the Republic of Kenya. My brother, let me tell you, our universal health coverage is underway with a bit of challenge initially, but now we are moving. And I want to tell the people of Kenya, we are going to transform this nation. And we have the team. And Professor, welcome to the team that is going to transform Kenya into a great nation that is going to be, make every Kenyan proud. Let me conclude by saying we have what it takes to transform the Republic of Kenya. And I am committed to making sure that whatever it takes, whatever decisions that have to be made, we will make them so that our, our, our nation can truly be transformed. As I talk to you, 10,000 young people are now engaged in climate works in Nairobi. We intend to take that in the next few months into 40 and 50,000 young people. And I commit to the people of the great city of Nairobi that we are going to clean the Nairobi River and we are going to transform it into a better, different causeway as we transform the city in the sun, the headquarters of the environment in the world where we have UNEP in Nairobi. We are also going to roll out the program that will make sure that we tap into the private sector and make sure that we can work through public and private partnership to make sure that we roll out some of the urgent, important programs that are important for the transformation of our nation. Let me conclude by asking all of us, members of the legislature, members of the judiciary, especially our investigative institutions, to make sure that we ensure that public resources are used efficiently, effectively. I call upon the Office of the Director of Public Prosecution, the offices of the DCI and the offices of the IG to work with the judiciary so that the corrupt can be firmly, decisively dealt with in the Republic of Kenya and the citizens of the Republic can get their due in the expenditure of public resources. I know that of recent we have seen incidences of our girls, our mothers, our women who have been murdered in cold blood. And let me say this, that the DCI and all the investigative authorities in the Republic of Kenya must stand up to these criminals and we must deal decisively and firmly. And I want to ask us as a society to be careful with strangers, to be careful with people who lure our girls, our women into situations that compromise their security. But we must be on the lookout, all of us as a nation. This is yet another moment. This is yet another beginning. And I am confident that we are going to take Kenya to the next level. Professor Kendiki, as you and all know, 
There is much to be done to fulfill our commitments and set our nation on the path to prosperity. I expect you to embark on your duties with dispatch and zeal. I wish you success as you begin your service in the high office you have assumed today. May God bless you. May God bless your family. And may God bless our great republic, the nation of Kenya. Asante ni sana. Mungu wa bariki. Na tutasonga mbele pamoja. Asante ni. Naomba sote sasa tusumano lima. Kama ishara ya uzalendo wetu. Tumalizie kwa wimbo wataifa. Wimbo wataifa. Tukipatia rais na fasi ya kutoka katika stare zake Asante ni sana Tutamuroso mweshimewa rais aweze kuondoka Na kisha mweshimewa naibu rais